Hello, I'm Oscar Helbron, a cardiac surgeon in the city of Barranquilla, Colombia. Today, we're going to talk about mitral regurgitation and its repair technique. This procedure I call KISS gives a simple three-step approach towards mitral surgery. I want to highlight the location of the mitral valve in the back of the heart, making surgery challenging. Lowering knots while working in the ventricle isn't straightforward. This is particularly true when dealing with the anterior papillary muscle. There is a parallel between the physiology of the valve and the square cells used by Columbus when rediscovering the continent. These cells have masks with yards that pass through them and a crow's nest on the top, suspended by ropes with a rear mast. This is as analogous to the tendinous cords in the mitral valve. If the cell and cords break, the cell and cords prolapse. We will explore Carpentier's classification with categorizes mitral valve dysfunctions into three main types. Type 1 dysfunctions involves annual dilatation and typically responds well to medical therapy. Type 2 dysfunctions occurs due to cordial rupture or segmental defects in the valves, which are the ones we repair surgically. Type 3 dysfunctions include valve retractions with often necessitate valve replacement. Now let's dive into the KISS repair technique. This technique I call KISS emphasizes simplicity and efficiency. KISS stands for Keep It Simple, a moniker of the band my professors used to love. In the first step, I perform linear reconstructions of the mitral valve. This involves preserving the valve edges following the respect more than resect philosophy, which minimizes tissue resection. I use an invaginating suture to ensure sealing. The second step involves placement of prefabricated neocords to support the mitral valve. Neocords are made from Gore-Tex, which provides durability and strength. These are attached to both the posterior and anterior leaflets of the valve, providing support and preventing prolapse. We used a sterilized percometer, which you can find at a local hardware store. Anterior cords are all 2.5 and posterior 1.5. The final step of the KISS technique is the placement of a complete ring around the mitral valve. This ring provides a stabilization and support to the repaired valve, ensuring optimal sealing and preventing future regurgitation. The complete ring also facilitates intraoperative hydraulic testing to verify the effectiveness of the repair. Overall, the KISS technique offers a simplified approach to mitral valve repair, emphasizing efficiency and success with just these three simple steps. In the past 10 years, we've performed approximately 40 mitral valve repairs per year with this technique, with our intraoperative success rate close to 100%. I appreciate your attention and invite you to come visit Barranquilla, home to Shakira, Sofia Vergara, and the best carnival in the world. Thank you.